Hi, everyone. Professor Ward here. I am really sorry that I could not be in class on Thursday, but I did want to record a little video, pretty much uh, what I'm expecting for you to do on Tuesday. So for Thursday, you should have had your four pages of the visual thesaurus done with nature, rhythm, nature, performance, music, and then the fourth word that, ooh, that connects to uh, a next to it in some way. So uh, looking on Miro, I see that all of you have completed that. So in class, and I will look at all of those and I'm going to do my best to get caught up on grading this weekend. So possibly expect a flurry of emails. <laughs> uh, in class, we were going to do some mind mapping. And I don't know if you all have participated in mind mapping um, or have done it yet, but Basically what you do is you put a word on a sheet of paper and then you start drawing connections to that word that immediately connect to you. So uh, this is one of my previous students work. So there's a word in the middle here, let's do Let's do music, there we go. And then the connections to music, I'm gonna to try to do this better. The connections to music, <clears throat> immediate connections are genres, radio, instrument, sound effects. And then it looks like unifying. <laughs> So there, bring me, I hope you can see that. It looks a little bit pixelated. Um, this same sheet is on the Miro board, right below the worksheets in the middle of the board where there's other uh, photos for inspiration there. So I think what I'm just showing you there was the second one down. Yeah, so if you want to reference what I'm talking about, you can do that. So you have your word, then you have your immediate connections, right? And those just without even thinking about it, those are your connections. So those are our primary connections. From there, then you would do the same thing. So for music, uh, what, makes you, what makes you connect to the word genres? And on the example I just showed. Uh, immediate connections were indie, Grammys, classical, rap, country, hip hop, rock, pop. All right. So there's the secondary connections. And then from there you do the same thing and that then you begin to get into the tertiary connections. So for indie, released and young, for Grammys, award shows and famous people uh, for classical Beethoven and studying uh, for rap. It looks like Wayne. I'm going to go with little Wayne on that or Lil Wayne. Um, and then hip hop, dancing, clubs, rock, punk, classic. And then uh, that's it in genres. So there you have your tertiary connections. So this method of mind mapping is a process of generating ideas. So you have your primary, secondary, and tertiary ideas. Way out on the end in the tertiary ideas, if you look at any of those words, they should connect to the word that's in the middle of your mind map. So here, if we think of uh, clubs and dancing, that should automatically connect in our heads for music. So that's the purpose of doing this mind mapping. 
Then if you do it with a number of different words, so here we have uh, in this example in particular, we have Drake, nature, music, and performance. So we go through with our primary connections, then our secondary connections, and then our tertiary connections. Now, word of warning, these get really big really quick. So make sure you, you leave enough room on your sheet of paper or write small but legible enough. Once you have all four words mind mapped, and you'll use the four words from the pages that you did, right? So nature, performance, uh, what are the other ones? Nature, performance, music, and then a fourth one. So mind map on all of those and whatever your immediate connections are to those words. This isn't, I'm not looking for anything specific. I'm looking for you to make connections to these words. So do the primary, secondary, tertiary connections for all four words. And then begin to pick one word from one mind map, pick another word from another mind map, mash them up together and in the squares on the other side of the sheet, <clears throat> draw the visual of what that is, right? So here we've got, uh, <laughs> got a couple of things. So here's a, a goat, a goat clown. Uh, this is a ballet painting. This is a pen shed, shade, sorry. A typewriter trumpet. A tent sculpture. Right, so once we start to mash up these words that are seemingly unrelated, we'll start to draw connections and then we can create an image based on that. And these can be as silly or as far out or as nonsensical as you want them to be you might find yourself cackling to yourself or giggling to yourself. So that's what we were going to do in class. So again, when you're mind mapping, uh, let me see. Okay. So when you're mind mapping here, I will do music. If I have music, no, I'm missing how to do another text box. So for me, when I think of music, I think of sound. I think of radio. I think of speakers. And let's see, with music, instruments. Uh, let's see, what else do I think of when I think of music? Bands, let's do that. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, and <laughs> my Alexa, <laughs> because that's how I listen to music <laughs> a lot of the times. And I'm sorry, long text boxes drive me crazy. So bear with me here. Okay. All right. So music is my word. And then here are my primary connections. Now, for sound, What do I connect with sound? Well, sound waves. Uh, let's see, Oop. waves, 
um, sound loudspeaker mouth. <laughs> uh, let's see what else when I think about sound beep. I wish I could control the The width of these a little bit better. Okay, and me sound waves loudspeaker beep music. Okay. Now, when I think of mouth, uh, I think of vocal, vocal cords. When I think of mouth, I think of lips, uh, tongue, teeth, saliva, Okay, so I'm going down a path here. <laughs> uh, that is very anatomy based. So one could think of mind mapping as kind of a stream of conscious thinking, right? You want to be in a you want to be in a space where you're relaxed, where you're calm, uh, and where these, where this exercise should be free flowing, right? Um, let's see, Oop. draw. Okay, and I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more to demonstrate what I want you to do here. Move beep down, Let's speaker down. Anyway, see already this is getting at hand. All right. Okay. Text. So when I think of waves, I think of the ocean. I think of dolphins. I think of a jet ski. I think of um, what is it? White caps. You know when the when the waves crash on the beach, uh, and then beach. Yes, another. Another connection to waves. Okay, so this is pretty simple, pretty simple uh, word map. So music, remember, is our main word. And then sound is my primary connection. Mouth and waves are my secondary connections. And then saliva, teeth, vocal cords, tongue, lips, beach, ocean, dolphins, jet ski, and white caps are all my tertiary connections. In on your worksheet, on the other side of the page, you have the squares. So what I want you to do in those squares is merge two of these ideas together. So if we had, say, okay. 
So if I wanted to combine a white cap tongue, <laughs> what would that look like? My guess is it might look like something, oops, 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 I can't do that. Uh, is there one, here we go. So there's my tongue. Let's see. No. Okay, this here would be the pink. And the outline of it would be pink. And then this here would be white. I'm not doing a great job with the trackpad. <laughs> so that's just one combination. So next up, um, what would Teeth Beach look like? Um, or let's see. Um, I think we'll do something. Oh, let's see. Uh, how can I get back to that one? No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Oh, no. My board. I hope that did not just miss. Okay, there we go. We're back. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. That's not a great one, um, but a teeth wave. <laughs> what might that look like? Well, probably like a wave, but then we might make the wave <laughs> into a tooth. <laughs> so on and so forth. Now, when you do this, you have to be careful about your pairings because some of these, um, if you had dolphin mouth, like, yeah, that is a pairing. But is it going to be really interesting? No, you're going to try to mimic an actual dolphin mouth. Not fun. Um, if you try, uh, let's see. Uh, a white, oop. white cap vocal cord. I don't know how well that would turn out. I would have to see that. Um, but pay attention to the words that you're you're combining here, because sometimes you kind of end up in the in a <clears throat> in a place where the combination is not real interesting, um, or you're representing something that is actually real life. And either of those, you don't want to do. You want to get into an area that is that is interesting. So. In your mind map for music here, I would continue to do, to expand on my primary connections, secondary and tertiary connections. So what you see here for sound and mouth, sound and waves, and then the tertiary connections, you would do that for all of your secondary connections. Right, this is what I'm saying. It can get very large and very complex very quickly. But the benefit of doing that is that you have a wealth of words that you can then begin to pair up to make yourself giggle, to make yourself laugh, um, to maybe lend a serious tone to things or a sophisticated tone to things. This is a way that designers 
go through a process to come up with imagery, especially if you're stuck or if you're not stuck and you just want to come up with imagery that maybe no one else has thought of yet, right? That could be a little bit innovative. The best compliment as a designer is when other designers say, ah, oh, dang, I wish I thought of that. So this is just one way uh, of doing that. So for Tuesday, what I would like you to do is complete the first sheet of the visual thesaurus. And if you look on Miro, there is a green box behind the worksheet that I want you to do. So go to Miro if you're not there already and take a look. The page that I want you to complete is the visual thesaurus and it has 12 boxes on the right hand side and then it has space for nature, music, uh, performance, and then your fourth word, whatever that is. So create a, a mind map or a word map as I see that I have it here for all four of those. Oop, let me stop sharing that so you can see. There we go. So start doing that or do that for the four words. Uh, and then on the right side of the sheet in those squares, pick 12 word combinations and then illustrate those word combinations. What does it look like when those things are mashed together? This should be pretty fun. And depending on how thoroughly you do your word map, will depend on how easily you can get pairings to fulfill all 12 of those squares. Now, I'm available by email. If you have questions, please, please send me an email about that. Um, also, what I would like you to do is watch To Inform and Delight. It is a video of Milton Glazer's life. He's one of the amazing, amazing people uh, in the graphic design field, or was. Um, so watch the movie, do the worksheet, and then uh, read chapter three as well in Guide to Graphic Design. That's going to talk about concepts, I believe, concepts. Um, those two bits of homework are on Blackboard as well under weekly homework, <clears throat> weekly homework, week two in the Thursday folder. Uh, so complete the visual thesaurus, first sheet, read chapter three, guide to graphic design, and watch Milton Glaser to inform and delight and make sure you fill out the worksheet too. And a word of advice, while you're watching Milton Glaser, fill out the worksheet while you're watching the movie. It'll be so easy. Uh, and then just have all that stuff on your Miro board on Tuesday. And then we'll kind of talk about everything up until that point. All right. Um, do the best that you can. Uh, there's no right or wrong answer on any of this. Uh, do the best that you can. And again, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. You can send me an email. Uh, and if there, I guess there are no questions right now because I'm on here by myself. Anyway, I will see everybody on Tuesday.